What's up, language lovers? Ready for your daily dose of English brilliance? Let's kick off another exciting lesson on Snoopy English. Stay tuned, stay awesome. Today, we are going to learn cooking expressions about Moroccan tagine. The first key expression is, lamb is traditional, but you can also use chicken or beef. This sentence offers options for the type of meat in tagine. The second key expression is, cumin, coriander, cinnamon, and saffron are key spices. This sentence highlights the essential spices that give tagine its distinct flavor. The third key expression is, a tagine pot is ideal, but a Dutch oven also works well. This sentence provides alternatives for the traditional cooking vessel. The fourth key expression is, it's typically served with couscous or bread. This sentence suggests traditional accompaniments for serving tagine. Let's prepare Moroccan tagine, a flavorful stew. What meat is used in a tagini? Lamb is traditional, but you can also use chicken or beef. What spices are essential for tagini? Cumin, coriander, cinnamon, and saffron are key spices. Do we need a special pot to cook tagini? A tagine pot is ideal, but a Dutch oven also works well. What vegetables should I include? Carrots, potatoes, and onions are commonly used. How long does it take to cook a tagini? It usually simmers for about two hours on low heat. Is tagini served with anything? It's typically served with couscous or bread. Listen to the following main sentences repeatedly and become familiar with them. Let's listen to the conversation between the two people. Lamb is traditional, but you can also use chicken or beef. Lamb is traditional, but you can also use chicken or beef. Listen again with subtitles. Lamb is traditional, but you can also use chicken or beef. Lamb is traditional, but you can also use chicken or beef. Listen carefully without subtitles. Lamb is traditional, but you can also use chicken or beef. Okay, let's listen to the next conversation. Cumin, coriander, cinnamon, and saffron are key spices. Cumin, coriander, cinnamon, and saffron are key spices. Listen again with subtitles. Cumin, coriander, cinnamon, and saffron are key spices. Cumin, coriander, cinnamon, and saffron are key spices. Listen carefully without subtitles. Cumin, coriander, cinnamon, and saffron are key spices. Okay, let's listen to the next conversation. A tagine pot is ideal, but a Dutch oven also works well. A tagine pot is ideal. But a Dutch oven also works well. Listen again with subtitles. A tagine pot is ideal, but a Dutch oven also works well. A tagine pot is ideal, but a Dutch oven also works well. Listen carefully without subtitles. A tagine pot is ideal, but a Dutch oven also works well. Okay, let's listen to the next conversation. It's typically served with couscous or bread. It's typically served with couscous or bread. Listen again with subtitles. It's typically served with couscous or bread. It's typically served with couscous or bread. Listen carefully without subtitles. 
It's typically served with couscous or bread. We've looked at the key expressions so far. Let's remember the key sentences and listen to the entire dialogue repeatedly. Let's prepare Moroccan tagine, a flavorful stew. What meat is used in a tagini? Lamb is traditional, but you can also use chicken or beef. What spices are essential for tagini? Cumin, coriander, cinnamon, and saffron are key spices. Do we need a special pot to cook tagini? A tagine pot is ideal, but a Dutch oven also works well. What vegetables should I include? Carrots, potatoes, and onions are commonly used. How long does it take to cook a tagini? It usually simmers for about two hours on low heat. Is tagini served with anything? It's typically served with couscous or bread. Was today's study useful? Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and share. Goodbye everyone and see you next time.